True Sound Studios is in your ears. So always something interesting going on here. So these are the Dyn Audio speakers. They're my dogs. Um, they're usually right here and here. Well, obviously the one's right there. But um, I've had some problems with... So this is the woofer for the Dyn Audios, and this is the tweeter. And um, so you can see Dyn Audio. And that tweeter keeps cutting out. And I thought at first it was just something, maybe the tweeter was blown. But then the woofer started to cut out a little bit. Then I thought it was the mixing console. And then that speaker's tweeter started cutting out. And so I think has happened is uh, there's something going wrong with the high frequency amplifiers. So I actually took them out of here, out of both of them. And uh, just, you know, I'm testing stuff in the multimeters, making sure we have good impedance going on and um in the speakers to see if, if the speakers are actually blown because it was possibility that those were blown um and then i started trying some passive crossovers and then just <laughs> testing it on a home theater receiver but yeah i'm not actually sure what's going on but just real quick i just look at look inside of here um you can see some foam on the side and then we got this like I don't know what you call it. It's uh, like a white snow fluff. Um, and then this is the spot for the tweeter. Here's the, uh, this is the actual woofer, the driver, low frequency driver. You can see the model number and that gasket's falling off. Nice little vented back. Um, and then here is the tweeter or the high frequency driver. Uh, I can't tell if that is actually ported. It might be, or, or vented. So you can see the uh, model number on there. So they, in all the years I've had them, they've actually really never given me any trouble. So the fact that this is happening right now is uh, kind of changing my workflow a little bit. So I've been using the, uh, kind of relying on those soffit mounted speakers, the big guys that are in the walls there. Those, that guy and that guy right now, they're kind of like modeled after a Dyn Audio pair of speakers but yeah anyway so um i actually ordered some parts i'm going to try changing out some of the mosfet transistors that are in there um i think there's something going on with uh i don't know I i'm going to try that first and then kind of work through there um i actually my uncle is helping me do this uh he's amazing with electronics so hopefully we can get this figured out and get those dyne audios back up there and i'm going to switch actually some of the speakers around the studio still keep the dynes where they are but uh add some move some stuff around you know fun so one of the things i will be doing is you can see my stack of these are event the asp8s or the precision uh, studio precision eight so uh i got this one working well actually once again my uncle did uh, this one, he, he, he's been helping me out a lot. He actually got this one from eBay and we used the tweeter on this one to replace that one. Cause that was blown because of amplifier issue. So I have an extra essentially eight inch woofer now. And then this one works good too. But when I set them up next to the Dyn Audios up there, they just were too wide. It really didn't sound that, that wonderful to me. So what I'm going to do is actually use this may um this speaker is just a mono speaker and it's actually going to this will be another video it's going to raise up and down right over this monitor so it'll kind of like raise up and block this tv but then it'll raise back down again or lower back down and get out of the way so that you know it's it's so essentially it's not going to always be up in one position but it will be my mono mix so you know kind of get rid of all of that stereo information and pack it into one speaker and then this fader will actually be um true mono now instead of before it used to be my subwoofer but that has changed um and so yeah you can see on the back here this one's got an amplifier that middle one does not and the bottom one does so since i have three of these um the one's going to go in that dead center space the other's just going to be simply a backup and then the last one is actually going to go in the vocal booth and I'm going to use it like a reamp speaker so I can pump audio through it in the room and put a microphone up and just kind of capture the sound of the room. And it'll be, 
like a reamp speaker. That's that'll be its purpose because um, the 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 one speaker the tweeter just is not nearly as loud as the other one. So not really sure what's going on. Don't really feel like messing around with it anymore. Um, I spent enough time on it, so that's what I'm gonna do with that. And then some of the other things I'm gonna do is I have these Polk audio speakers back here. Sorry, the lighting's not amazing. Um, these are monitor 40s, I believe they are. They're like two five inch woofers with a tweeter. Now, excuse the mess here a little bit, but when I'm sitting in my mix position and I go ahead and turn around, these are at like a perfect ear height and they sound actually really good. I really, really like the way they sound. Because they're so far away, they and they're, you know, they're small woofers, they don't really have that they don't really have that much bass to them. So I want to move them back up to the front here and move them next to the Dynaudio speakers. So that's where those are gonna live. But I want to fill in something back there. Now I do have two floor standing speakers that I was originally going to use for Dolby Atmos miss. Uh, Dolby Atmos mixing <laughs> um, and surround sound mixing, but I, I've just kind of come to the conclusion that that's probably not going to be realistic for me. I just, I don't know. At this point, it doesn't really make sense. I have nobody who's even, even interested in surround sound mixing. So anyways, what I'm going to do is take those speakers and I'm going to cut them up, of course. I'll put them in replace of those speakers back there. And the other set of speakers, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I do have hookups so that I can have speakers directly next to the mixing console, but I never really liked how they sounded. But then I also have spots for speakers right there and back in that corner, kind of like facing towards me. So we'll see. Um, I might just keep those there. Um, the only reason I didn't like them there is because they because their floor standing speakers are too low to the ground, so your ears never not very not really at that tweeter level, so they just never sounded great. They're always so bassy, bass heavy. So um, that's some of the things I'm doing with all the monitoring that's going on right now. Probably the only pairs of speakers that haven't been giving me any trouble and have been really great are these. These little guys right here, these I call my mini threes. It's a little three inch woofer with a actually really nice tweeter. Um, and I, those are very, they are a hi-fi speaker, but because of the, the woofer size, they don't really sound that big. And then last is just the built-in soffit speakers, those dual eights. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but right there, that is the Personas uh, 10 inch subwoofer. That subwoofer is actually hooked up to the Dyn Audio speakers. I have no subwoofer for the soffit mounted speakers yet. I did buy two um, eight inch subwoofers that I intend on hooking up someday, but I just, you know, it's the time, the time thing. I never have the time. So anyways, that is what's going on with all the monitoring. Um, also in, you know, in another video at some point when all this is all back together, I will show you guys how it's all actually hooked up to the mixing console because I came up with a really cool way using a RCA splitters to be able to push buttons and actually try out all these different speakers. Uh, so, you know, just another video, another thing to show you guys. So anyways, thanks for watching as usual. Guys, I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, click that like button and consider subscribing for more content. So not only do I make YouTube videos, but I also produce tracks and I can mix and master your music. So once again, thank you for watching this video. I'm Wiesna and True Sound Studios is in your ears.